Welcome to 1871. Uh, tonight's founder stories, we have an opening act. Uh, opening acts is where we introduce exciting young new startups, hopefully people who will someday uh, have a longer and even more exciting story to tell. To tell. Tonight, uh, we have Kapow Events founder Mark Halpin. Uh, Mark, great to have you here. Thank you very much. Good to uh, be here. In full disclosure, I have to say I am actually both directly and through Chicago Ventures an investor in Kapow Events. So. I uh, just want to get that disclosure out there. I'm a board member and uh, have followed their story, and so it's exciting to share it here. Uh, on opening acts, we like to get stories kind of early in their, in their first maybe two years as a company. Uh, so, Mark, tell us what Kapow does. Great. Okay, so, uh, and, and thank, thank you, Pat, for your contribution on the board today. <laughs> um, Kapow is a marketplace for uh, client events. So... <clears throat> On one side of the marketplace are typically banks, law firms, trading firms, consulting companies, uh, typically quite large. And on the other side of the marketplace are the fun and entertaining things they like to do, like go out to bars, restaurants, and entertain their clients, sometimes hotels. So it would be kind of a classic, quintessential kind of a <coughs> kapow event. If I, were, if I went to your website to go buy one, right. what would be one that you'd say, well, that would be cool. Uh, I'd love to go do that and take a client. What would, what would be a great example of that? Well, from a numbers perspective, not that we are anal about numbers, but it would be 29 people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 29 people on a Thursday night between 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock um, for a two-hour cocktail reception somewhere uh, within, in fact, within about five or six blocks of here. So Got River it. North, maybe uh, three dots and a dash. And so and what would be kind of an interesting, quirky event? Well, I'm like, I want to try something completely different with my client. So when they come back, and, and what are some examples, by the way, of clients of yours, by the way? What kind of companies? Uh, so um, JLL, CBRE. Um, so real estate firm. Real estate, uh, banks, uh, Silicon Valley Bank. I'm sure we've got a rep from Silicon Valley Bank here somewhere, maybe. Great. So if I'm from Silicon Valley Bank and I'm taking out a, a client and I really want them to remember us and, and the great event we have, what would be a kind of a cool, classic event that, that you'd say, boy, they'll never forget this Kapow event? Well, um, they range. There are people here who've jumped out of aeroplanes. Um, during Kapow events and wow. survived to tell the tale. Um, uh, racing cars are on the track. Um, certainly the bar and restaurant business is a big part of what we do. Um, so What's it, the it, Blue it's, Jean Bar one you talked Blue about? Blue Jean Bar is a great one. So, so how does that um, it, it, It's actually very interesting. I mean, be, behind all this sort of fun alcohol, uh, car racing and Blue Jeans, there, there's a serious side to it, but... Um, which I'll touch on in a second, but uh, clients are actually t our clients are taking their clients to retail experiences, running shoe events, uh, blues jean events where they get a, a try on a pair of jeans, keep a pair of jeans that the clients buy them. And it's a way for uh, our clients to engage with their clients in a more meaningful uh, way. Uh, not so much in a changing room, trying on a pair of jeans, but, but certainly um, spending a couple of hours with them in, in, a, in a unique environment, uh, doing some, some fun things. So. Uh, that's and so figuring out this niche, I mean, obviously, I, having right. been on the board, I've, I've seen you trying to triangulate into the optimal market. How did you figure out this market and are there experiences you had that made you really understand the need of the you know, sales or marketing professional entertaining and how you create that memorable experience? Yeah, that's a loaded question. Not a lot of guidance with, for, from Pat here. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, essentially we made a lot of mistakes. Um, and... Uh, I think if I go back two years, the business looked nothing like it does right now. We were looking at uh, products, services, and, and latterly we looked at uh, events. And um, we, the one thing we did right, we had a very strong client focus. We, we engaged with clients. Um, in fact, I'll tell you a quick story. We, we officed in the Willis Tower back in 2011. And one of my business partners, Mike, we had a good idea on a, on a wet Wednesday morning in November that we would we would find clients in the Willis Tower. So we started off on the ground floor, <laughs> and we figured out that you can do it. You can actually walk the Willis Tower. So wow. uh, we, got, we got a whole bunch of rejection that day. Um, but we got to meet a couple of people, a couple of law firms. And what we found was that there, there was a need and a problem, and that problem revolved more around events than it did around clients, uh, than products and services. So. Um, Quite an interesting day for us because after that day we, we said, you know what, events could be, uh, it's, a, it's a pain point and we, we went after events. And so, so lots of mistakes, lots of, lots of learnings and um, all, for us all about client engagement. Clients that, that's how the successful ones, you know, it's, yeah. uh, um, Reed Huffman says, if your first idea and product doesn't embarrass you, you launch too late. <laughs> there we go. um, you got to learn. So, 
Talk about traction to date. What, what, can, what do you feel, what, what can you share that, uh, right. about traction? If I wanted to work at Kapow Events or interested in working in a startup, uh, why would I be excited about the growth that you all are having? Well, there's a couple of things. Um, we, um, we are in a, a, a quite a sizable space. Um, the, the events industry is around about $270 billion worldwide. Um, the piece that we're playing in is, is around about $100 billion, so it's a, it's a sizable space. Um, we have had some good traction. We've, we've managed about 450 events in the last 12 months. Um, and they, 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 they're good revenue. And, uh, you know, for, for us, um, I've got a very smart business partner. I'm, I'm not the smart guy. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like the dumb guy. I'm the sales guy. Um, but, but the fact that we, we started this business, started engaging people, and started understanding the problem, we, we found... We found revenue very, very quickly. So, and that was key for us. We didn't want uh, eyeballs and clicks. For us, it was a building almost a conventional business and using the technology to, um, to, to, to grease the skids, if you like. So, um, yeah, we've got some pretty good traction in a very, very big space. So we're pretty excited about the future at this point. Exciting. So one last question. Um, you know, what's your vision for what this could be? If we were back here in five years hearing your founder's story, um, what would you imagine that this could be? Uh, I think looking at the clients we have, um, we, we certainly have the opportunity to expand beyond Chicago. Um, and uh, in some respects, what we found is that, that the clients we have, not surprisingly, really want to spend time with their clients and want to build their business. And to the extent that we can help them do that, we have, we're addressing something pretty universal. Um, and it is in a fun package. But um, if you ask a, a typical business um, what their greatest need is, somewhere close to the top of the list will we'll be looking after their clients and um, entertaining prospects or winning new business or, re or keeping and retaining their, their clients. And that's pretty much what we do. That, that, that really is our gig. Uh, it's helping our clients sell. That's exciting. Good luck. Thanks Thank for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you.